Hughes man Harry. You put that back, sorry. It's their bloody story. This is Harry Salter. This bloke took the pictures. I don't care who they are. That goes back where it belongs. Nobody lives here. We want it ease. Yeah, he's quite right. Anybody want to buy one, I want to see him out there on the stands. Listen, we're having a bit of a bash an all-nighter down Dean Street. Bring the wife or whoever, and bring these, otherwise you won't get in. Yeah. Champagne celebration of British journalism. Yeah, well, that's to get the pillocks there. You can drink what you like. All right. Good luck, Harry. See ya. Archer. How's the party going? Yeah, we're going to be along soon. Oh, come on, where are they? They were packing them vans before we Hang left. On, Why don't you check the other Sundays? Huh? No, I don't want to. But I can tell you now, no one scooped us. Look, nothing's happening. When I get there, it's going to be like a feeding frenzy. Yeah. Someone could have slapped an injunction on it. Oh, what? Well, 10 to 11 on a Saturday night? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're going to be down any time now. Yeah. Who's turned up so far? Yeah, I mean, it's all right, hold the paper back, stitch up the opposition, but yeah. you've got to get it out before people go to bed, haven't you? It's yeah, all good course. marketing. It's like your TV news flash. The Foreign Secretary bonking minister with big tits, read it in the Sunday news. It, there are 40 right, of our finest journalists there already, <laughs> including Tom Gatti and Phil Weber. <laughs> they don't know it's our party. Yeah, we're, we're, no one knows it's us who's throwing this, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. The word going around says it's a newspaper owner who's <laughs> given. Yeah. So they all think they're being head hunted. Yeah. Well, yes. Oi, oi. No, no, not yet. Yeah. See if Rita's turned up, yeah. eh? Is it? Harry, we'll be with you in two minutes. You have twice as much to be like, mate. No, I won't shift nothing else, will I? I'll have ten of these. Ten? Ten. Forget about the magazine. That'll be a fiver. No way. We've annihilated them. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. I don't want to go to a party. I want to stay here, see my story being sold. Harry, our alcohol levels are seriously low. You don't know how long I've waited for this. But yeah, well, there's 40 plus hacks in the Dean Street Club who are going to hate you for it. Now, you don't want to miss that, do you? Mm, lovely pictures, mate. Oi, oi. Tom Gatti. Huh? Phil Webber. Phil Webber. Phil Webber. Oh, Tom, Tom Gatti. Gatti. Jim Beam. <laughs> Jack Daniels. <laughs> Glenn Moranji. <laughs> Sam Booker. <laughs> Give us a look at that list. Hey, hey, you're not lowering the tone, are you? You're not bringing him in. No, no. What's, um, what's all this in Aiden? Well, I don't know. Those don't say, do they? Somebody inside reckons it's either Conrad Black or your Lord Rodham here. Oh, and I just saw um, Rupert Murdoch down the street in his limo. He stuck down the cab in the middle of the road, you know, and I thought, he's not coming here, is he? <laughs> what are you doing? Alice, Snappy, Rita, they're not here. Yeah, well, they phone them now. I sent them invites. I want to know why they're not here. Listen, I've just announced the imminent arrival of Rupert Murdoch. Huh? That's an opportunity worth taking, I think. Yes. Listen, love, you've got a fax machine, haven't you? A photocopier. Yes, sir. I want these first two pages sent up to this number. It's in Darlington. No problem. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's go for it. <laughs> Fifty pissheads trying to look sober won't impress Mr. Murdoch, because he don't like drinkers. You all know that. So you might as well go home. <laughs> but he's left a message. Rupert apologizes and suggests you take a butcher's at this lot and have a drink on Harry. You're all very welcome. The pleasure's mine. Harry, you mean... It's just... It's just your part. It's nothing to do with murder. You've got it. Now read on. Enjoy. Bar person, champagne. Harry. Harry. We're rich. I oh, know. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. I'm richer than you, though. <laughs> this party is going to be decimated in about half a minute. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? You know, which news desk the quickest off the blocks? Where's Gatti, Weimar? Yeah, over there. Now, who is going to pump us and who is going to panic? Right? That is the question. So who fed you this one then, Harry? Where were these taken? Who's got the copy right? 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 Oh, oh, please, please, give me a break. I mean, you know, Harry saw us back in town. We're having a party. Oh, come, come, on. Get out. Come, on. come on. What you think then, Gotti? Gatti. Gatti. Gotti, Getty, Git, what do you think? Come on, what's your verdict? Do you mind? It's not the Whitby advertiser, is it, eh? Remember, Whitby Beach, the Quinton killings, you took the piss out of me and I took it. I said nothing. And that was because I had grace. Now, why don't you give me some and congratulate me on that? I'd say it was the photos that make the story, not the writer. <laughs> Reciprocate the grace, twat. What do you want us to say? I want you to say, well done, Harry. Otherwise, you can leave now. We'll leave when we've finished our drinks. This is my party, and you'll leave when I say so. Oh, 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 you want to finish your drink? And the stuff you wrote on Quinlan was absolutely pathetic. You were miles out. And do you know why? Because you are crap. <laughs> Graceless crap. Leave him. Don't answer it. Where are you? I wanted you here. I sent you the invites. One for Snappy, one for Alice. You must have known they come from me. What invites were these? I threw them away. Rita! Why don't you just speak to her? Oh, Rita, this is ridiculous. You know, you don't let us talk about him all night. You know he's the only thing on our minds. But, oh, no, no, we mustn't mention him. We mustn't speak to him. He's not the only thing on my mind. Rita! Rita! Alice. All right, well, if, if you're interested, turn on the news. The main story's mine. Otherwise, I don't know. I'll try again later. OK, if you speak to Snappy around, he's telling him I've sent him a fax to the office. I love you. You know, I wanted you here. <laughs> sort of. Do you mind if I turn the TV on, then? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, for God's sake. No. He tried to call you two first, not me, you. And I am not interested in what he's doing. I don't care. And I don't want an invitation to a bloody drinks party, Alice. He's an alcoholic, for Christ's sake. Okay, then I'm going to go to the office. Yeah, well, you do whatever you want to do. No, I'm staying. Fine. Yeah, it is. Don't apologise for her. Alice and me had a row, so what? Why do you have to always try and even everything out? Harry, Harry. <coughs> great, great. Uh, photographs are a sensation. You'll yeah, sell them. What about my interview with Margaret Clark? 
Well, it, it was excellent, excellent. What was excellent about it? That's the point. Well, I mean, you've got this high flying Tory woman, blissfully wed, happy family, and you've got these. I mean, that's your irony, isn't it? Well, I could have done with a bit more titillation myself. The winner would have been a, a transcript of a tape conversation. Jonathan! <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> this is a brilliant piece of work. I'm deeply envious. Oh, come here. Come on, I want to hug you, not make love to you. Mm. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Let's sit in here. It got any vodka? Yes, sir. Polish vodka. Of course. Here, bring some round here, eh? Oh. Good, isn't it, London? Yeah. Oh. How are you then? When did you get here? Oh, well, actually, it's rather embarrassing. I was the first person to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> You always were a bit of a wanker. <laughs> a celebration of British journalism. Now, what are you doing here, Pilitsky? <laughs> Do you see me in there? Weber, Gatti, remember them blokes from Whitby? Yeah. Why didn't you join in? Well, actually, I wasn't sure you didn't have the same in mind for me. Our last encounter wasn't exactly amicable. I have missed you. Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> All of you. I've made a fortune out of this, you know. A six-figure sum, and the first number ain't one. So you're going to sell the business, News Associates? Why, do you want to buy it? No. <laughs> no, I just wonder if you're going to move down here. Well, yeah, I'm the main feature writer for them now, you know. <laughs> Probably buy a house in Barnes, you know, somewhere sprawncy down on the river. Really? What did Rita say about that? I thought she hated London. Darlington. Yes. We get the train in the morning and we go up there for the day. Oh, you mean go to Darlington? I want to give you all a tip about travelling into city. I've just walked the entire length of this train and I have observed certain people, obviously teetotalers, falling into every third lap on their way back from the buffet bar. Coffee and carrier bags everywhere. And me, straight down the middle. Yeah. Get it down, it make you feel better. Thanks. Thirteen carriages, right? Thirteen carriages. Two hundred and sixteen people reading my story. Must be a nice feeling. How would you know, eh? I'm not talking about a couple of coffee bar students, you know, flipping past one of your articles. I'm talking about two hundred and sixteen people on the one train buying the same newspaper of me. I'm talking the football crowd singing my song. I mean, this out mellows matter, doesn't it? Let's face Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll shortly be arriving in Doncaster. And for those of you who like to keep abreast of the news, we've heard that our very attractive Margaret Clark has just resigned from the Foreign <laughs> Office. Either one or the <laughs> Yippee! Thank, thank you! you. Well, I don't think our resignation was ever in question. Excuse me. Put aside Maggie Clark. How many times have you had one of your stories updated on the British Rail Tannoy system, eh? Never. And you never will. Harry, why are you getting at me? I'm not. Am I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is it a bit of an anticlimax now the story's out? No. Be in on Sunday. When your local MP does a pastry job, you come to work. Right. We're expecting a statement from Margaret Clark any minute now, but as yet there's no word on Malcolm Laird's position. Jonathan! I understand that he was summoned yeah. to number 10 yeah. this morning. We came up on the train. It's lovely to see you, Pat. Jonathan, sorry, when you got here, did you get a cab out to our place or did you come straight here? Right. Thanks. It's not your fault. Look, can you, um, leave us? No. You answer them first. It's only our marriage they're sending Harry. This is their living. Please. Yeah? 
You answer them. If you'd have wanted to talk to me, you could have tried finding us. You never. Answer what? When I saw your byline, I phoned the paper. You're gonna be working full time down in London, Harry. So what happens to us? What happens to news associates? Well, what do you want to happen? Don't throw questions back at her. Answer her. Oh, come on, Rita. You can't, can you? Because you haven't even thought about it. Look, you and me, can we just go outside, please? You want to end it all, and you think you can do it without even asking us? I told you. I told all of you. I said I wouldn't be back till after the weekend. Well, it is still the weekend, and I'm back. OK, I know I left you all in the dark. And I know exactly what's going to happen with this place. This is a business, and it makes a profit, and there's no way I'm going to chuck it, for Christ's sake. And why can't you run it? What, run it on our own? Alice, last week, you were having a go at me because I wasn't listening to your plans about expanding all this. Well, I'm listening now, and you might as well get on with it. And have you found a replacement for this? Harry, we don't have the authority to hire anyone. I'm giving you the authority, both of you. You did the interviews. You can decide. And did you tell Jackie about her having your job? Hey, I told you to do that. Yes. Fine. Well, easy, isn't it? Where is she now? She's visiting her grandparents. Well, you're going to have to sort that out, aren't you? I mean, call yourself a reporter. What are you doing in here? With a story like this breaking on your doorstep. I faxed you that stuff long before the bloody Nationals had it. Yeah, and I was on that story all last night. I was the first one outside Margaret Clark's door. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to sell what I've got. Fine. Oh, yeah, fine. Fine, Harry, except all the Nationals are covering it themselves. They don't want anything from us. They don't need it. Yeah, well, that's what happens on big stories, you see. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll be sending you stuff. I think you're going to be very good. Harry, this was my first story and I drew a blank. We don't know if I'm going to be any good. And we're not always profitable, you know that. Yeah, I do. But I've made a lot of money out of this, you know, and there's more to come. I'm not walking out on you. Harry, you're going. Jonathan's gone. I hear what you're saying. All I can suggest is when you find his replacement, you look for someone with a bit more experience. What do you think? Why didn't you use me to take those photographs? Can we stick to the point? It is the point. Why didn't you use me? Snappy, I needed an elephant gun. You don't have one. You've never used one. You mean I'm not good enough? I didn't say that, did I, Hey, This was a specialised job. I mean, those pictures were taken from almost half a bloody mile away. Right. What about these, then? Two specialists and all, were they? Listen. No, thanks. I had to keep that story under wraps. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't up to it and you didn't trust me. <laughs> but whatever the reasons, Harry, you didn't trust any of us. I've worked for you for a very long time. We've all grafted for a big story. I'd love what you've got. Working in London on a national. But when the chance came, Harry, you kept it to yourself. You think you can pay us off with scraps. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's way below mine. And yeah, news associates could carry on. We could make a go of it. We could make it better, but I don't want to. Because I don't want to work for you anymore. Was that even enough for you? Snappy. John. John! I don't know why I'm smiling. This is a very sad moment for you to use my name. Taking me seriously, are you? I've always taken you seriously, mate. No, I don't, I don't think so. You're right too now. I've quit. I'll call you. Harry, which train are you getting back to London? Jonathan.
Well, did everyone rain on your parade then? I came up here to put everything right. God. It's pitiful, isn't it? Well, when you go back to London, stay there, eh? We'll do it through solicitors. We could have a beautiful house. We could have everything we want. I do love you, you know. I don't want to live in London. I want us to have a family. Rita, we can still adopt. Harry, you're a middle-aged alcoholic reeking a drink. Do you really think they farm out kids to the likes of you? I've got loads of money. Jesus, we could buy a kid. You can have anything you want. But... Invited to the planning meeting. Make this work, will you? They started at ten, but it's still going on. Right, thanks. Uh, I think you're expected now, but the editor and everyone's there. Yeah, well, I've got to get this down. Um, where's the fax machine? Just here. Well, what shall I tell them? It's just I meant to let them know as soon as you arrive. Well, pretend I'm not here, eh? I think they might have heard. Look, the quicker I get this done, the quicker I'll be with them. Mark Nelson. Terrific story. Thank you. Thanks. Did you say you had a tuna there? Tell them I'm working on a story for next Sunday. How's that? Oh, Helen. Hi. Harry. Went very well, Sandy. Come and meet everyone. OK. Here, fax that for us, will you? Quick as you like. Malcolm Laird's about to issue a statement. Resigning, is he? No. That's what makes it more interesting. You doubled our sales. Really? OK. Jim, political. Angie, hey. style. Jeremy, deputy editor. Hello. Uh, I hear you had a party Saturday night. Yeah, we had a bit of a bash. <laughs> Tom Gatti sent his regards. Well, that's very nice. Has Rita gone? No, she's having a shower while I'm tonight. This came through on the facts from Harry. Yes. Right. Thank you. Oh, you're back on board now, are you? Oh, you bet. Oh, yeah, we earned this. Yeah, sorry, I'm still here. I am going, Mark. It's OK. We'll deal with this later. Why? Who are we protecting? What's up? Don't snappy. Oh, come on. What's happened? Harry is signing over news associates to Alice and me. He's directing his solicitor to draw up the transfers. What do you mean? 
He's giving it to us. We won't accept it. Yes, we bloody will. He's gone, we're here. It's as much ours as his. Snappy, we didn't put any of the money in to start it up. All oh, right, so if Harry divorces Rita and cleans her out, you'll still be rooting for him, will you? Rita. Alice, if you think you're helping her, you're not. This is between us and him. It's business. It's nothing to do with Rita. Harry has at last done the decent thing, and we are going to take him up on it. What else do you want to do? Snappy's right. We should take it. It's just... It means he's not coming back. <laughs> No, no, no. I can tell you exactly what Markham Laird's feeling out. He's saying his resignation was accepted yesterday, but that Downing Street won't make any announcement until the cabinet reshuffles in place. Because various cabinet ministers don't want to be associated too closely with a shaky PM. Makes you wish we ran a daily, doesn't it? Did everyone see Margaret Clark on the box? Oh, <laughs> she looked a bit rough. Didn't you? She must be to the cabinet what Clint Eastwood is to the rest of us. <laughs> Play Misty for me. Well, it makes you think God. I shall remain faithful forever. <laughs> For about a quarter of an hour. <laughs> OK, now, look in the next Sunday. Um... Oh, God, it's a real pain having to wait a week before we can capitalise on this. I think we should do a diary of the week's events. I mean, we can give an overall picture that the dailies can't match. I like the idea of a feature on political sex scandals since Profumo. Yeah, and no, I'm, I'm quite keen on charting the decline in the British cabinet minister's sense of honour. I mean, they, they don't go anymore. They cling on till they're pushed. Invariably a case of the ship deserting the sinking rat. <laughs> you see, my worry is that in five days' time, this story's going to be dead in the water. Well, we don't know what Harry's going to treat us to, do we? Harry's planning something already, aren't you? What is it? Anything connected? Well, it's just an idea at the moment. <laughs> I mean, um, we could do Jeremy's ideas, the, the diaries and sex scandals, but I think there's more to be teased out of this. I mean, why don't you do a big spread on the villa where our foreign secretary was screwing the ass off Margaret Clark? I mean, not just a photo tour of bathrooms and bedrooms and a few beautiful girls round the pool, but we could offer this for a week's stay as a prize, for competition, any sort of competition, and this could be the prize. I mean, forget the political fallout. Let's face it, this villa is probably the most romantic location going at the moment. And I know where it is. Yes, but... And no one else does. But... And I know how to get in. Oh. How do you think I got this story? I have no idea. No. But I got it, didn't I? So what do you think? I made it up there on the spot, didn't I? And this bloke, Jeremy Marcus, was really trying to stick me like a pig. I had to have him. Yeah, but Harry, we are not going to get within a mile of the villa, let alone inside it. Huh? I know, I know. A prize in a competition. Uh, just don't fight me, mate. Help me. A couple more here, please. I've been down the travel agents. Go, go. Don't laugh, I've just sewn my business away. If I come a cropper over this, I am down the toilet. Harry, if I can help you, I will. Look, a Spanish villa is a Spanish villa, isn't it? Right? So, I've booked that one. Harry, this doesn't look anything like the villa we saw. I have every faith in you, mate. You can shoot it from different angles, can't you? Hey, eh? you know what I mean? I mean, the camera never lies, does it? When do you want to do this? Tomorrow. And I've got older than Natasha Lee. You ever heard of her? No. She's an old mate of mine, good woman. She's got a model agency. She's going to send out three of her best models. So we won't be looking at buildings. We'll be looking at bodies. I am sorry, mate. We are not going to swing this. You don't understand, do you, eh? I sat round that table spouting crap. They knew I was bullshitting. I could see it in their eyes. They knew. I've got to deliver this. I must. Excuse me, sir. Yes. There's someone to see you. Right. 
Thank you, Archer. I told you if you walked away, I'd come and get you. Nick, I did not walk away from anything. I left. I left it all sorted. Oh. And Rita's happy, is she? No. No, she's not. Because she wanted something and I wanted something. We could have had both, but that wasn't good enough for her. And that upset me. So I'm unhappy as well, all right? And you, you know nothing about it. Harry! You know this is a member's club, don't you? Excuse me, but I don't think he's a member. A wasted journey, Nick. We're not the friends we used to be, are we? Eh? Hey? I'm really sorry. Oh, great. Either the lights are fused, or I just died. What's the weather like in London? <laughs> All right, speak to you. Yep. There you go. They're working. Hey, este muy, muy lejos, por favor. Está unos 15 minutos más o menos. En todo caso, no es un viaje muy largo. Where do you learn to speak Spanish? Tapes. I'm all right, as long as they don't answer me. Fabulous. Well, it's a bit of style, isn't it, mate? Now, you decided what bedroom we're going to have. I thought you'd be interested in the teenagers. No, you didn't. <laughs> Oi, Archer, what you reckon? Is it going to work? You really want to know? Look, if Mr Antonioni says it works, we can all relax. Oh, well, don't relax, then, because not only doesn't this look like the other villa, it doesn't look like the one in the brochure, either. Again. Yes. No, you've got a wrong number. <laughs> oh. Hello. Is Harry there? Yeah. Well, can you tell him there's been a plane crash up in the mountain? Oh, God. A charter flight out of Luton. Oh, God. Tell him this is Jeremy Martin, yeah. deputy editor. Yeah. Can you speak to him now? Can you yeah. do that? Yeah, yeah, I'll get him. Harry. Harry, Jeremy Marcus, deputy editor. Or oh, something. No, tell him that. Harry, piss off. It's, it's important. Something terrible's happened. Harry. Jeremy, I'm in the middle of a shoot, you know. Harry, a charter flight's gone down 50 miles north of Madrid with 120 oh. Brits on board. Well, if they're all dead, why spoil a beautiful moment? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hang on a sec? Harry, Harry, oh, is that your paper? Yeah, um, excuse me, excuse me. Is that his paper? <laughs> Y yes, I know, but is that his paper? Yes. yes, yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can cover it. Yeah, yeah. Oi! When you have heard me, this plane going down gets you off the hook. Every cloud has a... Well, should have a plane going through it. <laughs> Harry? It's your paper who is sending you up there, okay? So you tell them when you got back to the villa, huh, the owners had the jitters, huh? They were suspicious. Well, they'd every right to be, hadn't they? Shut up. And they wouldn't let you back in, huh? And they called it all off, yeah? And they didn't believe there was a plane crash. They thought I was tipping someone off. Right. Yes. 
Yes! Let's have another drink. Harry, you've still got to do a good story on this one. Hey, come on, come on. You and me, we're going to be the first up there. I'm going to give him a belter of a story. Now give us that. How many dead, then? Oh, I don't know. All of them. How do they know? <laughs> you flew into a mountain, you know. It tends to do the job. <laughs> Esto es lo más lejos que os lleva. No, 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 no. Solo poco. Me habéis dejado con la cámara. Ni a Dwight Nutt, Rafael, en mi coche. ¿Tienes alguna idea de cuánto esa cámara te costó? Hombre, pero ¿tú qué haces? No tienes respeto para nada. Mira, todo lo mismo. Te caigo de esta quitas de la cámara. Ya nos veremos. Hasta luego. ¡Ey! ¡Ey! A uno. A dos. A tres. Soy uh, journalista, period, periodista, inglés. ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué cierra accidente avión? ¿Se no me speak inglés? I want to get to the crash, the avión crash accident. Oh, taxi, a taxi, avión accident. <laughs> Taxi. Taxi? Si, si. Yeah, all right. Go on, come on. Okay, mate. Let's have a bit of a breather, eh? Oh. You want? It's meant to stop when a policeman knocks on your door at this time of night. I just wondered if you'd heard from Harry. <sighs> Fat chance. I should have told you earlier. But I saw him yesterday. I went down to London. Yeah, well, 
We had a long, long talk. Yeah, so you know what he's done, don't you? That's between you and him? No. He's given up the business, Nick. Rita, I've come to tell you one thing. Oh, God. The two friends had a cosy little chat, and you're sent back here with some piddling little message for me. He's angry with you too, you know. It's no good you sitting here thinking it's all being done to you. He's feeling hurt as well. And if you want him, you can go find him, cos I did. Yeah, well... That's all I came to say, because that's all I know. I was actually with him for less than a minute. He walked out on me. But I did get that much. And I just thought you ought to know. You old bollock. You been down the grass site yet? Uh, no. no. Great, innit? We come all this way and they weren't there near the place. Good boy. Looking for the black box, aren't they? Oh. They done a deal with CNN or someone. Yep. Hey, come on, let's move it. Oh, hey, oh, sorry, come on. If I don't know, but if it flashes and makes a noise, we're chasing it. Look, we've got to get something or we may as well have stayed at home and watch it on the telly. Tom Gatti. Phil Webber. I don't think we were introduced at your party. No, uh, hi. Hi, how you doing? What are you doing up here? Where's your camera? Oh, I'm just uh, here on holiday, you know. Really? How long have you been here? On your own? Uh, no, no, um, two or three days. You haven't seen the papers, then? Eight of them wandering round. No, You've got them here. She said some, not eight. Hey. Listen, I speak Spanish, right? Do you? No. And she said eight. Come on, come on. Hey, I got you. Uh, uno. Hmm? Uno. Mm. Un hombre. Oh, un hombre. Uh, señor. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Inglés? <laughs> Les, Les, I am touched. Pull up the chair. Hey, it's Harry. It's Harry Salter. Are you the eight survivors? Well, I hope I'm still in one piece. A stunt or something? A stunt? Some stunt. I got mugged halfway up a mountain. Oh, yeah. No, no, lads. Right. Harry wouldn't want to waste our time, would you? Don't you stitch me up over this, Kitty. I was on my way to that crash. Grace, Harry. Grace. Nothing to do with this. Margaret Clark, Harry. You wouldn't help us out of the party. How about a quote now? She's still big news. How do you feel about her? Lovely breasts. Yeah, I'd give her one, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> For what you are about to receive, Salter. Hey, they're back again. Oh, oh, What's going on? Not the air crash. Margaret Clark? She topped herself yesterday evening. <laughs> what the hell have I done? Hey. Hey. If anybody else had gone after that story, uh, would you blame them? No. No. And you're laughing. I mean, they're not going to want that stuff on the villa now, are they? Can you get those girls back to London? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm. Um, 
Where are my cameras? Harry? Shove off, will you? For Christ's sake, change the record. Look, isn't this enough? For sufficiente for, for today? Esther, dear. Can't we go back now? What? Now, come on, girls, where are you taking me? Look, I want my bed of sweet vomitas, eh? Look, Kiro Mia Kama, eh? Not a mess. What's this? My clothes. Hey, what, what's going on? You can't. Look, I, I haven't got any money. No denario. <sighs> Sisters of mercy, they eh? charming. Gratis for nothing. Hey, hey, come down here. How did you find me? Your new photo bloke phoned the paper. I phoned the convent and... Oh, Rhi, I do love you. Harry, shut up. We don't say anything we don't mean, all right? Right. Right. And I'll kick off. You're a bastard. And I'll come and live with you in London. All right? No. I want to come home. Oh, Harry, there's no... Now, no you point. shut up. I want to come home, love. What do you reckon to that? Eh? What do you say? How much do you love me? You and me. And a kid. <laughs> 